Right. I just don't want to um, jump ahead and pick my favorite, but you know, I think the important thing about this game. Wait is a second, Tim. Before we get to this game, I have a special third anniversary surprise Are for you. Are you kidding me? I didn't. It's a cake. What? <laughs> Happy anniversary, Tim. <laughs> three. <laughs> three. It's a cake. That's three. Uh, this is a real cake. Who made? Yeah. Uh, unbelievable. So can we take just take a bite? Uh, just take a bite. That's good cake. Ben, can we have someone cut that up? We're gonna be cutting this cake for all of our guests later <laughs> on tonight. For now, I'll just show it right here. Okay. Okay. Um, that's a great cake. So we've got um, tonight. Now we're going to go to our first game of the evening. Our only game of the evening is called pound, pound for, for pound. pound. It's a pound for pound, joke by joke. Two men in a one man game. It's a pound for pound and a joke for joke. All right, folks. Here it is. Doug, you'll go first. You get a chance to tell one joke. Our judges will be listening closely, and we'll be deciding who's the better comedian. And this is how we're going to do the judging. We have three celebrity judges. They're going to say either Doug Pound or David. And if there's a tie, we go to Milan, and he's going to be our tiebreaker. And the way that he's going to say Doug is one flip. If he votes for David, it's two flips. And that's how we play pound for pound. Go ahead, Doug. Hey, David. Um... Do you give uh, tours of the Grand Canyon? Because I plan on taking your ass down. <laughs> and then back up. OK. That was, um, that was DJ, DJ Doug, Doug Pound. Pound. Now we'd like to introduce our second contestant, David Gore. My grandfather loves America, and he hates terrorists. He was the first person who shot Osama bin Laden. Mm -hmm. Now, he needs a new TV. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. All right, are we going to give DJ one last shot at this? Action. Did you ever notice that you can get digital cameras in the weirdest places these days? I got my digital camera at a deli. And it's a pretty good quality camera, too. 7.2 mega pickles. Oh. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay. David, you're up. This is your last chance to impress the judges. Go for it, David. My grandfather got arrested for fooling people into buying a potion that makes you live long. He was previously arrested for the same charges in 1705, 1815, and 1943. Oh, yeah. Great, guys. Okay, so let's, um, let's, let's uh, go over to the judges here, and we'll start with James. James, um, talk to me a little bit about what you saw out there and who you think is the best comedian, pound for pound. Myself? Oh, yes, yeah. go ahead. Oh, yes. I, I think that, um, that the last uh, joke put the younger comedian over. Okay, you know, so you are going gun. with David Gore. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. We got okay. one vote for David Gore. Congratulations, <laughs> David. Thanks, James. All right, David Liebehart, who did you like? Who did you think was Wow, the it's like a tie, a rye, a high, but I tell you, they, they both, um, you know, they I would call 50-50. They so it's both. Pick uh, one, you must pick one. I used one. to do stand up comedy at the comedy store and improvisation uh, with Robin Williams uh, back in the day when I was a young sprout. Now, I'd say that little sprout right there, I'd give him uh, about a. 75 and him at 25. Okay, so that's one for David. One for David. Okay. Now, George, you, you're going to express your vote in, in a song. Am I correct? You're going to play something to indicate which, which direction you're leaning? Yeah. Okay, help, after, then, by all means. He's the new jo young Jack Benny. Oh, yeah. We have a tie. That is 
obviously two votes for DJ Doug Pound. That means we got a 2 2 tie. Wow. And you know what that means tiebreaker. <laughs> wow. Milan. You're going to go one flip if you're going to vote for DJ Doug Pound. You're going to do two flips for David Gore. What are you going to do? I'm going for both of them. Okay. So, four flips. <laughs> Three flips. <laughs> that continues the tie. We're going to need a tiebreaker. So, is it David or Doug? Two for Doug. Two for Doug. Okay. Okay. After you. Okay, that's yeah. David. That was for David. Two for David. Two for David. David's the winner. Congratulations, yeah. David. Congratulations, yeah. David. Now we have um, we have David standing by. David, what do you have to say to the to your to your audience, to your judges? David, how do you feel to be victorious on pound for pound? Hmm. Well, I want the name changed. I want the name changed to David, and I'd like to thank the Academy and my family. Thank you. Fantastic, David. Would you, be, would you be willing to come into the studio every week and maybe teach Doug some pointers and how to, how to be yeah. a, a true comedian? Of course, after I finish my homework. Wow. Eric, we have, um, we, have, uh, we have Doug's parents standing by, and we just want to get a, a reaction from them. You came all the way here from Chicago to watch your son compete, and can we have a camera on them. And what did you, what did you think of, of your son's performance and, and losing to a, a, a young man like David Gore? Well, he's got to get better like his dad, otherwise he's not going to make it, but uh, he did fine. You proud of him? Yeah, I am. I really am. Mom. I never heard those jokes before, but they're pretty good. I like them. what do you think about your son losing to a, a young man like that on internet? I think the voting was fixed myself, okay. and maybe I'll talk to you later. All right. Thank you. <laughs> the Loose and Hops. Hey, David, we hear that you're, you're in a movie coming up. Tell us about that. Well, um, it's coming out 2008, and it's about these three young flies who th stole away on the Apollo 11.